All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, I am back with a Tuesday tip. Now, what Tuesday tips are going to be, and I'm probably going to do this for, I don't know, next couple of weeks or so. Don't know. Just kind of how the spirit moves me. But um, I'm going to do a Tuesday tip, and these are going to be based off of questions that I get, frequently asked questions. And so one of the questions that I get, um, and I've kind of compiled uh, just kind of like a little question bank of questions that I get. So I'm going to come on and I'm going to answer them. And any question that I feel that lots of people have asked, I'm going to do this. I'm going to answer it on a Tuesday tip. So one of those questions that I get is which algorithm should I use? Which algorithm is better? Is it ADA or is it, is it, uh, sorry, then miss my light went off, but anywho, um, or is it the ACE, the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists? And it's a very simple answer, actually. Um, whichever one you choose. Now I will tell you what I prefer and I'll tell you what I, what I tend to do. Okay. Now, mind you, I'm a person who likes diabetes education and management and I geek out over it. So I am subscribed to a lot of different outlets. So my email comes from lots of different things. I'm I'm subscribed to many different newsletters. I get different magazines and publications. So quite honestly, you may not want to do what I do, but I actually prefer the ACE algorithm. And the reason being is because it's more robust. Okay. And not only do they give you diabetes management, but they also have an algorithm for cholesterol. They have the algorithm um, for hypertension. They have an algorithm for lifestyle modifications. Now, with that being said, uh, the ADA has a pretty, theirs is pretty in-depth as well. So really where I come really what I would say to you is go with what is best for you. And so I think in my NP Diabetes Starter Pack, which is in the link in my bio, it's a free, free resource. I have it linked. I have both of the algorithms linked. And so typically what happens every year, kind of at the end of the year, maybe the top of the year, both of the organizations update. They do their update of standards of care. Now, both of these organizations, they work together. So either one that you choose will be perfectly fine. Okay, it's you're not going to go one, wrong with either one. It's really how you learn and how you retain information. I actually like the ACE one. It, it I can understand it a lot better, but I can also grab a lot of information from the ADA. And typically what I do is I kind of do like a hybrid of both. I download both of them. I look at both of them and I compare both of them and I go with what I feel comfortable doing. And so one of the things that I did want to bring up to you guys is just the similarities, okay? The underlining theme of both algorithms is very much the same, okay? So I got some notes here and I'm just gonna point out the things that they both talk about. There's slight differences in both of them, but it's nothing to go holler about. So they're basically the same and some of the similarities that you're going to have, both of them hands down first thing before you even think of prescribing any medication, they both very much preach comprehension, comprehensive lifestyle modifications. And that is your number one step. That is what you're gonna continue to do even if you start them on medication, even when you start them on insulin, you never, ever, ever let up on lifestyle modifications. Now, in one of my videos over on my YouTube channel, I talked about this. Lifestyle modifications, when executed and when adhered to, is more effective than metformin. Metformin brings down the A1C 1%, 2%, which is a lot, um, but lifestyle modifications can bring it down even more. So you never ever want to let up on lifestyle modifications and both of these algorithms, they push and enforce both of them. So 
That is the similarity. That's your first step before you even start thinking about a medication. That's the first thing that you're going to see on both of them. Another thing, um, another common theme that you're going to see is that for both of them, when you do start medication, metformin is first line. Now, on my last Tuesday tip, I talked about when metformin should not be for first line, but for the average person, metformin is your go-to. Okay. Now, of course, you're going to have your zebras. You remember in nurse, nursing school, they taught you, taught to you about your zebras. You're not going to have a zebra that walks through the door every single day, but you are going to have people that are the outliers, but the average person met, metformin is going to be your first line medication. Um, it's, it's a good medicine, you know, medicine is medicine, but metformin does a lot. And I talked a lot about this in my diabetes med boot camp. Um, why metformin is such a good medicine because talking about the ominous octet, it corrects more, more of the broken systems when it comes to hyperglycemia. It just does. So it's going to be first line unless they come out with something better. Um, the only thing that is superior to it, lifestyle modifications. So another, um, Another thing that both algorithms um, have and they both are similar with is that it gives you a hierarchy of medications. So I get this question a lot. So y'all gonna get a little bonus in with this question. I'm, I only want to come on and just answer one question, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. But I get this question a lot where people are like, okay, after metformin, where do I go? Well, the algorithms actually guide you pretty well. Um, they guide you enough without taking away your clinical judgment, okay? And let's talk a little bit about clinical judgment. We are nurses. If you are a nurse practitioner you and you are prescribing, because all nurse practitioners don't prescribe, they're not prescribing providers. But if you are a prescribing provider, you have that prescriptive clinical judgment and you should use it. Only you know your patient. Only you know what this diabetic is going through. You know what their hiccups are and only you can answer those questions. I have received the question a lot. Okay, should I start this medicine? Should I start this medicine? I can't answer that question for you because I don't know your patient. Depending upon what's going on with their kidneys, what's going on with their liver, you know, how long have they been a diabetic? See, there's lots of questions that I can go through. And what I love about the algorithms is that they both give you, they give you guidance, but still allow you to have clinical judgment. And so both of them do that. Okay. And so, and then lastly, it also talks, they both talk about like the strength of recommendations. So there's this hierarchy where the top medicine is the one that you should go for, for uh, first, and then the second and third and fourth and fifth. But then there's also the notation of how strongly you should go for this one. So there's a couple of medicines that are pretty much neck and neck. Depending upon what's going on with the patient, you may go with one over the other. And these are your common things. Again, which algorithm is better? Whichever one is good for you. When you look at the algorithm and you say, okay, this makes sense, I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> this makes sense, I'm gonna go with this one. You know, that in a nutshell is pretty much the one that you should pull with, whichever one that you feel that you can understand and that you can follow. Um, again, like I said, I prefer the ACE, but I have both of them and I compare both of them. And so anywho, guys, I wanted to come on here and answer this question, this quick question that I get often. If you have questions that you want me to answer, DM me and I can possibly answer it on another Tuesday tip. Um, again, I have a lot of questions that I have coming down the pipe because I get common questions often, you know, like I get some of the same questions. And so for the next few weeks, I'm going to come over on here real quick. This is going to be a quick tip and we're going to answer these questions and hopefully we'll all learn something. Of course, I cannot come on here without telling you guys about my diabetes med boot camp. There's actually a nurse practitioner that's on here now that has completed the course and 
she has told me great things about it. She said it was great and I know it's great, you know, but I'm glad to hear that other people like it and stuff like that. It was a labor of love. And so I talk all about algorithms. I actually dive into the algorithm, um, the more complicated algorithm, which to me is the ACE algorithm in the, in the boot camp. So if you want to know more about the algorithm, you definitely want to grab, um, grab the, uh, boot camp. And if by by chance you just you're not ready to purchase I have tons of free resources I have the NP diabetes starter pack I also have my YouTube channel that I put up one to two videos every single week and I'm on Instagram a lot so y'all if you want me you gonna find me and so anyways you've been sitting here with Kim E the diabetes MP and I will catch y'all later bye